Hey, what's up, y'all? I got my one of my best friends in the entire world, Damon Bell Holzer. He played at ORU. He leads, I mean, he has all kind of records there and points, rebounds. Uh, he played overseas for a while. He even had a he even had a short stint with the Boston Celtics. So uh, amazing dude, that. amazing player. What we're gonna do, he's a big man. We're gonna cover three ways to change directions, okay? And he's agreed, like, some of these he might, he may not even, like, have, like, really worked on a ton. So what I'm going to do is basically give you a live session, okay? He already knows, like, especially some of these are, like, a little more advanced. He might not get them perfect the first time, but we're going to break them down together. And then th these are the drills that I want you to work on at home. So the first way to change directions uh, yeah, right, quick, is a jump stop change of direction. So if I'm dribbling, <laughs> if I'm dribbling, say I'm dribbling right. I'm going hard, dribble right, boom. After I dribble, I get into a jump stop. At the same time I jump stop, I wanna turn and face the direction I wanna go. At that point, I make a move, and then I leave with my back foot. It's so important when you change directions not to make a move as you go, but you wanna make a move and then go, okay? So again, step one, I take a dribble. Step two, I jump stop. Step three, I make a move and then I leave with that back foot, okay? Do whatever it takes for you to kind of get the feel. I would recommend, if, like if you're already comfortable with it, go ahead and get into it. If not, if you're struggling, which a lot of times when I see people struggle with this, they go, they pick up this foot, or they're leaning back, okay? You want your chest in front of your knees, and you want your feet down, and then go with your back foot. So, the drill is gonna be this. You're gonna find some space, and you're gonna start with just like tight dribble side to side. So I'm here. Quick, quick, two, three, four, five. You're gonna go 20. Once you're done with 20, you're gonna come back and do 20. Okay? So what I'm gonna do right here with Damon, he's gonna get into, he's not gonna do 20, but I'm gonna have him do some change of directions in a zigzag way. Okay, and again, he's working on jump stop, change of direction. He's even going backwards. I mean, there's no like perfect way. You can work on going forward and backwards. He's just tightening his hammer right now at the same time. But you'll notice he's making the move and then he's going. The big thing he was doing is he wasn't making a move and picking up that foot. Now we're going to get into the second way. Look how big this dude. We're going to get into the second way. Now we're going to go cross step. Now we're going to go cross step. With a cross step, you're gonna, you're gonna get into a long lunge and you're gonna pound the ball at the same time your foot hits. So instead of going dribble, hop, it's gonna be a dribble and lunge. Think about like getting into a step back. So if I was here and I was like a step back or something like that, it's the same kind of deal. So step one, long lunge with your inside foot, boom. Step two, your back foot's gonna plant, boom. The, the reason you wanna plant is because if it doesn't, you'd have no balance, you'd have no power going to the other way. So again, step one, long lunge. Step two, plant your back foot. Step three, you're gonna make a move, not move this foot. You're gonna make a move and then lead with your back foot, okay? Once you go this way, boom, you're back into the same thing. Long lunge, plant back foot, make a move, go forward. More game speed, it's gonna look like this. I go hard, I go long lunge, change. Long lunge, change, long lunge, and I'm going forward. Again, 20 forward, and then we're gonna turn around and do 20 going the other way. I'm gonna have Damon demonstrate these real quick. So the one thing that he's doing is you're going here, D, and as you're going, this foot's sliding back. You really wanna make sure this foot doesn't slide or pick up. So he's doing like, we want a long lunge. The biggest, you gotta sell the drop. So I'm selling the drop. This foot, it doesn't pick up. If it does turn, it's gonna turn on its toe. Okay, so D, try to keep this foot down until you make that. I hear you. <clears throat> ah. Yeah, you good? Okay, last step, you good, you good. One, one second real quick. Hey, that, the lunge, as you guys can see, that lunge was way better, but he isn't planting his back foot. So he's going here and then making a move. The step he's missing is step two, where you plant that back foot and then you change directions. You see that, dude? Kind of really plant that back foot a little bit more. Plant. Let's get him to do this again real quick. You good? So go, go ball on foot, same time. 
Okay, stop, hold the ball. From here, kind of put your back foot down. Boom, now from here, go in between the legs, and then lead with your right foot this way. Perfect, yep. Plant your, now plant your left foot, that's good. Plant your left foot. Now change directions. Boom, now lunge, plant. No, no, you gotta plant first, that's good. Get more in the get more in the camera too, so you can see. Do that again, quick, guys. So big thing, just kind of go like tighter. Go long lunge. Uh, left, foot, left foot, left foot, left foot. Left foot, plant that back foot. There you go. Now change. Perfect. Now lunge, lunge, ball and foot, same time. Dribble, dribble, plant back foot. Good. Lunge, plant back foot. That's okay. Ah, it's not, it's okay. Man. Hey, listen, as you can see, it's not, especially if you've never done it before, it's not just, you can't just do it right away. That's just with anything in life. So he is doing, he's already getting better. He just, he just needed to do a little better job of when he was here, getting that back foot down and then going, okay? Now, before we go into the next one, how do you know when to do a jump stop change or a cross step change? A lot of it depends on how your defender's guarding you. So say Damon is guarding me but there's some space, okay? So say like, get out of here. Say I'm driving, they can't see me. But say I'm driving and he, there's space. I'm driving, there's space. I can just jump stop. I can just jump stop and change because it's super quick. But what if he gets in front, but he's like into my shoulder. So maybe he's being physical. Let's go just a little so they can see. He's in front of my shoulder. And as I drive, I feel that physicality. So on this one, it's gonna be better to, to do a cross step. As I lunge, I can kind of bump them, boom. Then I can change, okay? Just so you know oh, yeah. the reason how, why you should do one or the other. Okay, the last way to change directions is to work on the same foot, hip swivel, and go, okay? So on this, I'm gonna step one as I'm gonna take a long dribble. Step two, I'm gonna take a, a second dribble while protecting the ball. So again, long dribble, second dribble, on the second dribble, I'm gonna step with my right foot and I'm gonna dribble with my right hand, okay? The reason we call it same foot is it's the same foot that you're dribbling with. So I'm here, I'm gonna go long lunge, ball and foot hit at the same time. After I do this motion, I'm gonna flip my hip, just like, almost like you're doing like a, like a little scissor. It's boom, flip the hips, change directions. So let's make it even more simple, three main keys. Number one, ball and same foot hit at the same time. Step two, you're gonna flip your hips. Step three, you're gonna make any change in direction move you want, go on the other way. Gain speed, it's gonna look like this. And again, we're gonna go 20. And then once you're done with 20, you're gonna turn around and do 20 back. So I'm here, I take a dribble, same foot flip, change. Same foot flip, change. Same foot flip, and I change. Let's see Damon do this real quick. Yes, perfect. Same foot, you good? <clears throat> Ball on right foot. Change, good. Ball on right foot. Oh okay, my you good? gosh. Yeah, flip your hips, okay? Ball on foot. Flip the hips. There you go, perfect. Ball on foot. Flip the hips, good. Ball on foot. Yep. Flip the hips. Good, better. Really good. Better. Uh, yes. Uh, and stop. So the big keys on like the cross set, anything where you're like lunging and you got to dribble at the same time as you step or like the same foot, it's so important that you don't just get the ball. Let's get, uh, do your shoulder. It's so important that you don't just get the ball and just kind of like go through the motions. You're selling a drive. Does it look like a drive? If so, then you're going to sell that direction so much better. If it looks like a drive and you get cut off, Boom, now you're gonna be way more likely to go in the other direction that you wanna go. If you got any questions, let me know.